everyone, this is CY once again. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, once again, today's video is going to be a shorter one and I'm just going to share with you uh, um, some of you actually use uh, the park screen, right? And uh, I think a lot of you have problem actually removing the uh, park when you try to knock out the uh, the park that has been extracted after you have your espresso. So today I'm going to share with you a method of removing the park screen, right? Without getting yourself burnt when you try to you know um, remove the park screen from the uh, park before you want to knock it out. Uh, it will be something that's really uh, easy for you to do and uh, it will not actually burn yourself and you can actually remove the park screen with minimal effort and then um, and after that you can use a knock box so uh, this is not my method right I've actually, I've actually learned this method from my friend Jeffrey uh, he's my good buddy right, who has purchased the Elizabeth from me as far as the DF64 and I think he has now been poisoned uh, by me again, right? Uh, he's actually thinking of getting the BBM Super Electronica, which is the pressure profiling machine. Uh, that's the one at the back here. That's the one, the BBM Domova Super Electronica. That's actually the pressure profiling machine. Uh, but today I'm not going to use that machine. I'm going to use my little Bianca. So um, if you don't want to watch the coffee preparation part, you can just skip the video to the part whereby. I remove the park screen from the portal filter, right? So let's get started. I will try to do this one cut without any editing to see whether how it goes. Um, okay, I've already pre-measured my coffee. Um, today I'm going to use the uh, Colombian El Nivel, right, um, from the Apia Risalda region, right, which is about 1,700 meters above sea level. Um, the process method is actually wet wash silo dry. Uh, the tasting note should be very chocolatey and nutty, uh, very good body and mouthfeel. Uh, it's about medium to slightly medium dark roast, 16% development after first crack. Uh, this was actually roasted on the 20th of December 2021. But the coffee still tastes amazing. So um, this is the coffee I'm using. Right. Uh, this is our own, our own roast again. So if you're interested, you can uh, welcome up to uh, WhatsApp me. I'll, I'll drop my WhatsApp uh, in the screen above so that you can actually WhatsApp me if you're interested in our coffee. Uh, today, we have also launched a new uh, coffee bean, right, which is actually the Yunnan Tea Berries. So if you're interested, uh, do drop uh, us a WhatsApp message. right. Um, the tasting note of the Yunnan Tea Berries is comparable to the Kenya Tea Berries. Right? I personally roasted the Kenya Tea Berries. And I think uh, the Yunnan pea berries will not be inferior to the Kenya pea berries, right? The tasting note is pretty interesting. It has um, hazelnut, uh, it has got uh, coca, right? And it has got berries, the ripe berries, not the uh, unripe berries, which means it's the sweeter side and not the sour side. And it has uh, a very refreshing lemon kind of taste. And, but then in the aftertaste, it has a bit of apricot. So this is actually quite a complex, uh, very interesting uh, mixture of tasting profile, right? So it is really interesting, and uh, I tested it with siphon coffee. It tastes really well, and uh, and today I also did the roasting of coffee, and I actually used the coffee shaft to make uh, coffee shaft tea. So if you have not uh, watched the video, do remember to check out the video as well. It is really interesting. Some people may find it yucky. Um, they may think that oh, they, this is actually meant for compost for your fertilizer, but it actually make pretty decent tea. Uh, if you roast your own coffee, uh, do consider trying that, right? So okay, uh, without further ado, let's try to make today's coffee. Um, okay, let me see. I'm just gonna make a because it's a pretty late, and uh, I'm just gonna make. My grind setting is currently at fifteen. I'll probably go down to about 14. Right, so let me get my... Okay, I, I will just dose directly to my powder filter. Right, so I'll be using the uh, spouted Lilith powder filter because I'm, I'm thinking of splitting the cups into two. So, and also I'm going to dose directly uh, into my powder filter. So I'm just going to bring the camera closer so that it, get, it gets you a better view, right? 
right i hope this will give you a better view and some of you commented that uh, i should get a tripod uh, i do have a tripod in my uh, workshop or um, in my showroom but sometimes I'm just a bit too lazy to take it up um, so yeah that's actually my uh, my behavior right so okay so let's grind directly into a portal filter I just wait for a short while. Right, you can see I'm not bellowing. Right, I'm just going to wait. And I'm going to use the vibration from the grinder to actually sort of distribute my coffee ground. And after that, I'm just going to bellow the remaining into the cup. And I will not be dumping this into my cup here. I'll be, I'll be just knocking this away, throwing this away into a, my knock box. Right, so now I'll show you my preparation of my puck. So basically, I have a knock box here. Right, so use my finger, try to, you can see the ground is actually very fluffy. It's very nice. Right, I'm not going to use any uh, WDT tools, I'm just going to temp it. Right, this is actually the cookie press. Right, so you can see the puck is pretty well prepared and of course I'm going to use the puck screen right so I'm just going to bring your bring you towards the other side of my camera right now you will see my uh, Lily Bianca right so right it's already been heated up uh, for about 25 minutes or so so I'm just going to run the extraction Just get two small cups here. Uh, I'm also using my the skill that I've acquired recently, which is the Felicita. Right, so far has been pretty uh, awesome. So um, usually I will close my flow control to the middle, and then there's no mechanical pre infusion. Right, so everything is preset by the LCC on the Lily Bianca. So I'm just going to start pulling shots. I have set the pre-infusion time to be slightly longer. You can see the water, the coffee is already dripping out, and then the pump will kick in. Right, the coffee is actually very, very well extracted. Right, I'm looking for about um, 36, 38 gram, 36 to 38 gram in about 30 seconds. So now it's about 32 seconds. I'm hitting about 40 grams of coffee. So that's pretty okay. So right now, uh, I'm just going to put the cup on top of the uh, cup warming uh, area and remove my uh, smart scale. And this is uh, the moment that everyone is waiting for. How do I actually remove the puck, right? Sorry that I have to uh, make you wait for so long because I have to make sure that it is hot and uh, everyone will know how to handle this actually. Right, so... This is what you're going to do, right? If you use a bottomless bottle filter, right? You need to use a cloth to cover the bottom, sort of to create a seal. But if you're using the spotted one, right? You don't need a cover at the bottom, right? So basically what you need to do is actually very simple, right? You have to just tap with your palm, do a fast tap on top, right? The, the reason why we do this is actually to create a force so that the air will actually blow the puck screen on top. So that the puck screen will be separated from the wet coffee puck. And now you look at this, you will just fall out gently. And now you can actually knock uh, the puck into the knock box easily, right? So I'm just going to show you how it, right? So you can see uh, the puck is actually very nice. So let me remove the puck and let you see. Right, you can see how well the puck is being extracted, right? Uh, it's just very very evenly extracted if you can see from the camera all right so it's really nice all right so um, I'm just gonna make a latte 
so uh, just please bear with me I'm gonna get some milk and then I'm gonna froth uh, the milk then uh, right let's do it Right, I'm going to use a slightly bigger jug even though I'm actually uh, okay let me see whether I can get a smaller jug there because I don't actually need so much milk right so if you see the difference in the jug size right this is 600 this is about 350 to 400 ml right so usually I'll use this and pour inside here and do my latte art Uh, usually I'll fill the milk to slightly below the uh, the spouted area in the uh, milk jug. Right, so pardon my tripod. Okay, so let me arrange my tripod to give you a better view. So remember always to perch your steam wand. Right, so it's ready. But before that, let me get my wet towel ready so that I can actually uh, wipe uh, my steam one after steaming milk. Right, I do not have a wet towel ready, so basically I'll just use a, a spray bottle to gently wet the towel so that it's slightly wet. And then I'm just going to wipe it later on. Let me get this away. I find that the Bianca steam one is really very gentle. It's not as powerful and monstrous as my quick milk rubino and it gives me time uh, to actually texture my milk nicely and once I see that the volume has rise up significantly I'll just dip my steam tip to generate the vortex so that the uh, microfoam will be evenly distributed and then uh, I will just okay it's almost too hot to hold then I'll just off it remember to dry your steam wand i mean to clean your steam tip and then do a perch so i'll always do a second one right so this is ready and uh, we can make a latte okay the milk is pretty nice actually so let me just show you Right, uh, not too sure whether you can see that in the camera. Right, uh, it's pretty silky. Okay, not too bad for the first attempt. Right, let's make a second one. Okay, it's not too bad. I've dropped the cup on the floor, but it's okay. Let me just clean it up later on. All right, <laughs> so there's a slight mishap over there. Everything is okay. So uh, right now, it's the time for us to taste the coffee. All right, so let me move my camera back. So you can see that uh, in today's video, I did not do any uh, 
editing so everything is uh, shot at one go uh, right now it's about 15 minutes or so so let me just taste the coffee cheers ah it's really nice sweet and chocolatey uh, there's no burn after taste at all ah it's really a nice cup all right so this is cy once again thank you for joining my channel today uh, for watching my video and if you're first time joining my channel right remember my channel is all about having fun making coffee so today i share an idea that was originated from jeffrey my friend in singapore uh, he has taught me how to remove the park screen without getting myself burned and also um, usually i tend to knock the park screen today together with the coffee pub into my knock box and sometimes i will forget to dig out the park screen from the knock box and eventually i actually throw away the park screen together with my knock box i don't know how many of you actually have done that before uh, i have definitely have done it a few times and uh, it is not cheap getting the park screen so um, so luckily the jeffrey my good friend actually shared that uh, information with me and i've actually shared with my friend stefan and uh, he too find it really amazing that in such a simple technique you can actually remove the park screen uh, without getting yourself burned or you know, without knocking in uh, the park screen together with the wet coffee pot into the knock box and you have to dig out your park screen and your park screen will probably be quite dirty and let me just show you the park screen is actually pretty clean right you can see this is directly uh, pump out and pop out from the park there's actually no coffee on it at all right which is pretty good so thank you for joining me today right remember if you haven't subscribed do remember hit the subscribe button and if you like my video please remember to click the like and then you know, ring the bell if you want to stay updated in all my uh, future video releases and if you want to miss any video that we actually share before of you so thank you for joining me today i'll see you in the next one and stay safe